I'm just out here kind of want to go over the things I'm worried about and the things I'm trying to address right now with my golf game. Um, so I got this crazy good list, what I do. Um, and so I have them in order of importance to me, um, short game, scoring, mechanics, and speed. So these are the things I'm kind of worried about. Um, now, unfortunately to me, the things I can work on the best start from the bottom and work their way up. So I feel like I'm going to get the best work done on speed, mechanics, scoring, and the short game. Just so many things we can't address right now. Of course, management, decision making, um, short game. It's you know so precise, and every shot's so different. I mean, I can kind of get some base numbers off a of flat lie, but how much that's going to carry over, I don't know. I feel like my distance control might be okay. Um, scoring, I might be able to get a little work done, but mechanics and speed, especially since you don't need to hit a ball to work on those, are the two things I feel like I can kind of maintain as, as much as possible. Um, I do think you want to break these things apart. Um, you do not really want to work on speed and mechanics simultaneously. It seems like a great idea. Challenging for me, like I need to be focused on what I'm doing. So today we are focused on speed. Um, so not only a great move with Keanu and Sandra Bullock, but speed and center face contact are kind of the engines of distance and goal. So probably the first thing we're going to lose other than kind of our feel for short game, but we can't do much about that. So we're going to really grind in on that speed. I'm a huge advocate for the super speed golf. Um, I call them speed sticks forever, and that's not what they're called, super speed golf. It's uh, kind of like a three weighted club system. And I'll kind of go over the concept before we take a look at some numbers. Um, but they work great. Um, you gotta use them every day like anything. There are no gains without some hard work. Um, but I was at 115 of those before we left. Um, I'll put that number up before we look at some other numbers. Um, and really felt like I was pushing upward before we took this break. Um, but not everyone else has super speed golf, and we got to find some ways we can work on this ourselves. Like it says, it's daily work. We need to do this every day. I've kind of debated on the best alternative to those. Um, so ideally, you would take the wrench out and pop the head off of your driver, and you would have just the shaft, um, and so you have something lighter. A lot of people don't even have the wrench, so you know, our other alternative is we're just going to choke it down a little bit when we get down there. Um, and I'll just kind of go over the concept of these sticks really fast. Um, so the thing that stuck with me, or I guess they even sold me on it, was when they talked about Usain Bolt in the 100 meter dash, he would run down a hill to feel what it feels like that could achieve more speed. Um, and so once he starts running on flat ground, he tries to apply that and translate the feelings of running downhill. Um, and we're gonna try and use that concept of something lighter that we can actually swing faster than whatever our base speed is. We feel that difference, then we try to apply it to one of the goal falling in the way. It takes time, but just great, great product um, and great concept. And so what we gotta do is find a way to make this lighter, and that's what we're doing, just flipping this upside down to feel a little lightness um, and feel what it feels like to really move that club through the ball. So we're down here, we're gonna take a look at the numbers, hopefully see some gains, um, hopefully find a way that we can work on this, get some nice exercise, super speed up. Um, if you're a super high speed swinger, I don't think there are a lot of gains to be made just in general. So really you're just trying to maintain. Um, as far as speed goes, I get that there's, you know, we've learned a lot with body track and track man and where all the forces are coming from. I don't have any vert in my swing. I still create a ton of speed, um, and I still feel like I have more gains to make with my swing as it is before I am adding in vert. Um, so I do think you know we can pick up speed depending on your own swing. You don't need to make a big swing change right now, but you do need to work on what you got. Because, um, like I said, speed's not free. It's something you got to work on really hard. So hopefully we got our driver. Uh, or actually, let me hit one wedge first just to get a number on there. and that's somewhere in the 70s um, but then I want to get into my training see if I can make some gains at least find some feeling so we got our driver going up about an inch half inch just so the club head doesn't hit you um, so super speed golf they got a regimen they got a system um, kind of a training plan that you use and it works great like I said I use that plan um, but I do think that this is gonna be a good alternative for some people out there 
Um, so we got three right-handed swings. Try to pick the speed up on each one. Then we're gonna go left-handed. Um, it's really important you do work out both sides in golf. Um, so that's why we're going right and left handed is you do want to switch the grip if you can to a left handed grip. So you're actually working on both sides equally. Uh, as far as what I'm feeling with this, it's more of an audible. I really just try to make sure my whoosh is post impact. Um, so I can hear that sound after the ball, after the ball, after the ball. I'm not worried about mechanics right now. I'm super focused just on speed. Um, normally this probably would take me two, close to 10 minutes if I had the super speed out, maybe a little faster. Um, I'm just gonna do three more right-handeds, but I would recommend doing this for a while. And I'm not saying do it for two hours because you'll be exhausted, but you know, 10 minutes of that would be great. And really, like I said, I didn't change anything mechanically. I was really just trying to find out what it felt like to create speed, and then hopefully we'll see some gains without me having to do anything wild. Ah, uh, no read. Hopefully I got two in me. We see a little bit of a speed increase. Um, like I said, I don't have tons of gains to make, but I either want to maintain or maybe pick up a little bit, work on something, be really focused about it, and hopefully end this with some nice gains.